Welcome to this how-to video. When using the CProtect Digital Twin, for some use cases, you need a connection between your simulated device in the cloud and a real network you have in your laboratory. Some example of these use cases are shown here. The communication with a SCADA system using standard protocols, or the exchange of GOOSE messages using the IEC 61850 communication. So, what we need to do is using our local computer as a bridge. Therefore, today, I'm going to show you how to install and configure this bridge application. The local PC shall have two Ethernet communication cards, one with internet access for the connection to the cloud where the CProtect Digital Twin runs and the other for the connection with the local network. First, I recommend to look for the information related to manuals and VPN in, in the Digital Twin interface menu and to download it. It contains instructions to set up the VPN client and bridge, the guideline for using CProtect Digital Twin, as well as a configuration file that can be used for the VPN bridge. Then, we need to download the correspondent software. And for that, we go to the web page Soft Ether Download Center. As next, we select the type of software we want to use. For this special application, we need a bridge. Select the operating system. Then, download the latest version of the software. Once the file is on the local computer, we can start the installation. Be aware that administration rights are required to install the software. Now we open the installation file. Follow the steps. Select Soft Ether VPN Bridge and click Next. Read and agree with the terms of the license. Select the location and click Next. Now the software is installed and we are ready to start with the configuration. Click on Localhost. Click on Connect. It can happen that you don't get direct access to the configuration and are asked to change the password of the local host. You can assign any password. The input here will not influence future changes. It is also possible that you get asked for a password to log into local host. Use CProtect underline digital twin. You can find the password in the document to set up direct softether VPN bridge .pif. In some occasions, you could get forwarded to the Bridge Easy Setup page. Close it and continue with the configuration. Once we land in this page, we can start the actual configuration. Click on Edit Configuration. Then, import the file CProtect Digital Twinsoft Ether VPN Bridge.config, which was downloaded with the information from the Digital Twin. Review the local bridge setting. Select Bridge for the Virtual Hub. For the LAN adapter, use the physical Ethernet interface you will use to connect your local computer to the existing local network. Then click on Exit. Following, we need to create the link to the cloud. Click on Manage Virtual Hub. Then click on Manage Cascade Connections. Select the automatically created connection and click on Edit. In the host name, you can find the six-digit number which is your username. You need to enter the password which is used for the connection with the CProtect Digital Twin. If you don't know the password, you can go to the Digital Twin application and select the option VPN Password. You can generate a new password and select the validity. Then you can copy the password to clipboard and paste it into the configuration of the bridge. Congratulations! You have successfully installed and configured the VPN bridge. Watch the next video which shows an application on how to use the VPN bridge to connect the CProtect Digital Twin to a physical device.